Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Callan, our Let's Play Island. I've got my little character warming up for today's episode, uh, which actually reminds me, we maybe should do some of the morning stretches. But uh, for those of you who'd... Oh, Molly's inspecting the wasp wall that we started. <gasps> I didn't check a message bottle. Excuse me? I didn't check... What? Okay. Um, well, for those of you... Um, all right. No, wrong, wrong start to the sentence. Um, some of you might remember that last episode we went villager hunting, which is uh, what we have, you know, we still have all the stuff in our pockets. So we're just going to go and do a little cleanup. We ended up taking Dottie home, um, which I am actually uh, quite happy with. We're going to see how we vibe with her on this island. I think we also might just be able to tell that plate armor. Okay. We might just be able to really judge that once we have like started decorating and kind of know where the, the island vibe is kind of going but um until then until then i'm quite happy with the with the choice and the, oh my god can thank you um quite happy with the with the choice that we've made and now it's time to work a bit more on this island you know if we still have a sorry excuse me molly we still have a long way to go until we can um there we go. Soul, this spot is reserved for Dottie. Awesome. We still have a long way to go until we can really start, um, I don't know, being too excited and like really like decorate and code shop and all that kind of stuff. Um, we are collecting a bunch of fossils, which is good. And then we were going to look for our money spot. Plus, it is definitely time for us to maybe move some of these things sell some of these things honestly we might go ahead and get like the flowers that we don't want to keep on this um also do i have a watering can because i should start watering the crops probably planting more crops too because they're kind of a nice way to get some some uh income oh there's cj in the back they're like a nice way to get some passive income um and i believe if you have like a few of them you might you might make it like a decent amount of money but i also probably will move them to another place and not like not like right here just in the middle of nowhere i kind of want to put them they don't grow on the beach i'm pretty sure like you can plant them on the beach but i don't think they really grow um i don't want to put them by the entrance because the entrance might be one of the first things that we actually start building up and then i would just have to move them again okay we probably are not going to keep everything in our pockets uh, how much more is that? Five. I have three spots. Okay, in that case, let's go and quickly just drop like two things so that I can just get the flowers and um, and then go ahead and sell them. Um, there's more somewhere on the beach, but you know, on the beach at least they're not like growing. They're not really in the way right now. So we can worry about those a little bit later maybe. But these I really want to just get rid of right now. Um... And then we've got a whole bunch of flattening to do still, which, um, uh, yeah, we still need to do the tree storage and everything and like make like, you know, plant a few trees for us to just have to shake every day because that also would bring us a whole bunch of like money and items and stuff. So maybe that should be the first thing we like worry about today. Yeah, items are still the same, unfortunately. <laughs> But I do think we might be time traveling in a second um, once we once we get all like the dailies done, uh, once we find our money spot, maybe that could be an option. Uh, there we go. Uh, how much is that going to be? Oh, wow. <laughs> Great. Thank you. I might also just honestly, I might just throw them out that way. Um, do you have a watering can for me? Yeah, let me... I mean, I guess uh, invest those 800 bells that we just earned into a flimsy watering can and then we can uh, make that into a regular one with like an iron nugget. Also, as promised, of course, I made myself a fresh cup of coffee. Mm. Um, yeah, watering can, iron, and then crops somewhere. <laughs> those are the bullet points for the, for right now. Okay, let me grab these two items as well, and then I've got the iron with me, and also let me already get like the carrot crops, because um, then we can just plant them all like together in one spot. Um, I don't have anything else apart from carrots right now, right? I, I guess that was the only thing that, um, that Leaf was selling. I don't know if Nook's 
isn't Nook selling like pumpkin saplings at some point or like uh, pumpkin starts? I don't know if that is just whenever he, whenever they've got like the shop uh, upgraded though. And also when, um, maybe that's just around like Halloween or something. Honestly, I don't know right now. Um, I, cause I usually just don't purchase stuff anymore. I really am like, I'm terrible because I just get stuff from Treasure Island because I just, yeah, I don't know. At some point, you know, I started playing the game uh, just grinding for stuff all the time. I never time traveled. I never like um, used the used treasure islands or anything like that. Um, and I, I I really experienced a whole bunch. And I'm glad I did because I learned a whole a whole lot about the game that way. But at the same time, um, it gets really oh, actually, let's take our gyroid fragment with us as well if we have the watering can because then we can. We can water it and we can grow it into an actual gyroid and start collecting those too because it also I think brings us miles. I think there's like a gyroid getter um, achievement or something. But yeah, I, I, I really like playing the game like that and I think it helped me understand a lot of it and understand the mechanics. So like I would always recommend to do that when you start. Like always play the game the way, um, the way that I guess it was supposed to be played which is like super slow and grindy. Oh, what? What do we get? Oh, okay, because we just crafted something today. Three DIY projects, okay. I mean, you know, I'll take all the miles I can get, so thank you for that. <laughs> all right, Um, I put away my crops, didn't I? Great, I put away my crops. That's that's fine though, that's fine. We're just gonna plant our carrot starts, uh, starters over here and then water them and then we can like make this a little bit bigger the next few days when it grows and they have like not just one per crop but three. Um, and I, that'll be more worth it, I think. So medium carrot sprout, oh. Oh, is it because like it's already grown basically but I did pluck it, it's called medium? Okay, okay, so I guess like if it holds, if it holds stuff, I guess they call it like ripe right or they don't call it large i don't think so all right so there's our carrot starts and then let's get my little watering can yeah and do some gardening okay five little carrot starts that's great and then i feel like the gyroids i might just take over to the entrance because we just need to water them like one or by my house maybe because we just need to water them like one day and then and then they're ready to to um to use because that way we don't lose sight of them, you know? Um, so maybe just kind of start them here by the beach. That would be fine. I only have one right now, um, but you know. Also that reminds me, we still need to, um, we still need to get blathers. No, that's, that's wrong. We need to get Brewster. We do have blathers. <laughs> we need to get Brewster still, uh, which is a captain boat tour. Um, maybe we'll do that. You know what? We'll go ahead and do a little bit of flattening here. Um, once we get our ladder from our storage. <laughs> All right, because that was villager hunting. I put away my ladder. Okay, that makes sense though. Um, I'll get my I go, I'll get my ladder and then I, I might start um, flattening that top part because I was thinking, remember how I told you when we were making the mood board that I, I want to make this like a lake uh, when we've got like the cherry blossom petals and stuff. I want to make this lake where the cherry blossom petals can float onto it. And we're going to have some type of, I don't, did I say that? We're going to have some type of cliff surrounding it. And then you can kind of sit there and relax and like look at it or something. It'll be like an, a big overview area kind of. Um, I don't know how much of that I explained to be fair, but I was having that idea and um, I think I, I, some, I somehow, I don't know why, but I feel like I wanna have that in the, in the top left corner, like in the back left of the island. So I want to keep that open because it might be something I actually kinda wanna work towards too as one of the first few things, just because I have like, I have that image in my mind, so I don't think I want to put the tree storage there in case I end up working on it because I, then I just have to move all of it. So I guess, long story short, 
I want to put the tree storage in the top right part of the island. Okay, let me briefly check if there is any. Oh, this is a oh, this is a big cliff. Dang it. Okay. Um, no, no um gyroids or or fossils or anything here. Like we should be getting gyroids though, right? I think so because we already did a captain boat tour. Um, which is how we got that one gyroid. So I feel like we should be getting it on our island too, uh, unless unless there's like a requirement that has to be met for like um, fostering a, a couple of them. Oh, was this the first time? Was this the first time we did some? Oh yeah, the first time we did some landscaping. A thousand miles. Thank you very much for that. All right, and then uh, for any of you who are maybe about to flatten, uh, something I can def definitely recommend is to do it in um, in stripes and like lines, especially if you do the um, if you do the landscaping. Because if let's say I okay, wait here I have to kind of adjust it a little bit. So let's say I just kind of continue here. It always rounds at first and then shapes the cliff off, you know. But if I instead do it like one tile over so if i just go in between these two it immediately removes the cliff and uh you can make your way all the way through to the very back of it and then um and then the same thing happens for this so like this just shapes the cliff away so that's definitely a recommendation if you need to like a landscape always do it like in, in lines and stripes because it, it kind of saves you some time or also if you've got like round cliffs like i think we had one over here yeah so this is like a three three tile rounded cliff always hit the middle because it removes the the sides as well and then same thing here so this is one tile second tile and the third tile and in this case i would recommend to hit the third one and then you hit this and it already removes the rounded part two same thing kind of here and i feel like these are the most fun actually removing rounded cliffs is like fun because it removes like two and one so it's i don't know i really like doing that i also like when i landscape or or um more or less when i flatten pretty much i'll i'll do something like this just going around and like removing the curved cliffs first because it's so much fun you know like here again i'm hitting the middle and then I'm making sure that I've got like, I've got it like two tiles over so that I can remove the, remove the rounded cliff at one. And that removes everything, every single like rounded cliff. And then it's just a matter of, um, yeah, removing everything, which takes some time. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, you can either, you know, go backwards to the side. It, it, it's, it's really kind of up to you. This is something I really like to do when you're just, you may have discovered like a new TV show and um, you just sit here because I'm like constantly just holding the left stick and meanwhile pressing the A button every once in a while. Um, it's super repetitive, which makes it very calming. Like every time I flatten islands for the like sped up like videos that I do on my channel, I like just sit here. And you must know those take like hours to do because the flattening takes hours. Um, and I just sit here and like I, I can feel my eyelids dropping after a certain time because it's just so it's just so mesmerizing for some reason. And like nothing really happens like, you know, exactly what's about to happen. So it's not like unexpected. It's not really all that interesting, but you just sit here and you like stare at it. And you're like, oh, this is this is, this is interesting. And like one after the other, you just shape it away. <laughs> it's kind of nice and then like I said it's kind of nice to I, I don't know why but sometimes I actually like flattening because it gives me the opportunity to play Animal Crossing but I don't have to think about it because every time that you kind of decorate or something you have to think about what you're doing and I feel like you might notice this or you might have already noticed this in the little DLC decorating that I did um, whenever I do decorate I get a little bit more quiet when I like while talking just because I also have to kind of think at the same time. This right now requires no thinking. So I just, I can blabber all the time without worrying, like without, I don't know, having to split my thoughts between different topics. Um, but once I get to decorating and I actually act, like actively have to think about where to put certain things, uh, I get a little bit more quiet at times or I'll, I'll, I'll kind of do something, I'll decorate something and I'll take a step back and just sit here and kind of look at it and decide if I like it or not. Like that happens more often than not. And I think you'll you'll be able to notice that once we really get into it. But um, 
For this, it's just, you don't have to think about it, but you're still playing Animal Crossing, which is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I don't know, last time I just, I just flattened my island, so this is, I, sometimes I get very excited about it. Mm, what I haven't done in a while, I'm like, oh, I really want to flatten, just because it's kind, it can be kind of fun, you know? But I've just flattened my entire um, uh, swampy island, which to be fair, didn't have a single cliff on it. So I guess that was like a bit different um, because I feel like removing cliffs is the most annoying part of it. Um, and it didn't have that, so, so that's pretty good. Uh, but I just did it, so it's not really the most exciting for me right now. Okay, I'm gonna move down here now uh, and just remove a couple of, uh, or like a little bit of this cliff as much as I can so that maybe we can get a start on the tree, the tree um, storage thingy here. And then honestly, we might put up like a pipe or something because this is like in the very back of the island. We might put a pipe by my house and then to this part so that every day we can just kind of hop in, shake all the trees, get all the goodies from the trees and then kind of move on. Um. But I feel like maybe we're gonna have enough space. I don't know if I want to have it in vertical or horizontal lines. And then I still haven't decided. So on the mood board, I wait, I need to pull it up. Um, Cause on the mood board, I've got all the different trees. I have all the different trees planted, which, yeah, I feel like that makes sense. Oh yeah, see, here's a bit of water escaping so I can't really get to that cliff just yet. That's okay. Um, actually that is okay because I think to see how far I can go, we're going to go sideways in this scenario. Um, so yeah, on my move board, I have all the different trees because I think that, so obviously cedar trees because cedar trees are a must on almost every island. Plus, since we are doing like the cherry blossom season, we're going to have a few pink trees. We're going to have a few green trees. Some of them will be like fruit trees. Some won't be, but it's just going to be like a good mixture of all of it. Um, okay, this is as far as we can go, right? And then we'll make our way to as far as we can to the front, maybe, and then we kind of see how much we can shape away. Um, so yeah, cedar, no, did I say cedar trees again? I meant hardwood. I, ke I keep getting confused with that. So I meant hardwood trees are a must because hardwood trees also come in the cherry blossom variation. So that's going to be an absolute must for us on this island. Um, and also I just think that if we place it during cherry blossom season, even if we use like fruit trees, the fruit trees will be relatively like light green, um, which is quite nice I think for like the coastal vibe because it's very like light and airy and you know, pretty. It's not like too dark, it's not too vibrant. Like the grass right now in like end of, middle end of July, which we currently are, is quite a dark green like i feel like this wouldn't really fit the vibe i want to go for it probably would fit like a coastal coastal island if you did like white and blue and like very coastal town i'm pretty sure that this could work but i'm thinking more lighter colors um so i'm i'm thinking hardwood trees would be great and then obviously the bamboo trees really play into that as well because they're much lighter green um i do think that i want to use some cedar trees though because um I don't know how much of this I explained because I feel like the, the mood board video was already super long and also the talking about the theme and stuff, but it wasn't, um, I still got like left out some stuff. I'm pretty sure I like forgot some stuff to be fair. So the cedar trees I would also like to use because I think that parts of this island might be a little bit more foresty. And then also the idea that I had when I saw the sand path thing with this entire theme, I guess, is built on and relies on almost um was the thought that it's like it, it it's like a regular kind of retreat island but because it's by the coast and because so many people are um because it's so much about like the mental well-being and people love to spend time by the sea and stuff um maybe it's just that people like track the sand onto the mainland from the beach kind of and so it would still include like regular foresty trees. I don't know, that, does that explanation make sense? Sometimes I just like to shape things in my head until they kind of make sense to me and then I explain them to others and they're like, that's kind of overthinking it a little bit, don't you think? <laughs> but I mean, that's my brain. I overthink all the time. So yeah, that's kind of that. <laughs> so yeah, I think we'll do a mixture of hardwood cedar 
um, I guess maybe for now, until this is completely flattened and stuff, we might just do some fully grown ones so that we can have... So we might just do those those couple of trees that we want to have for um, the daily like rewards. Um, you know, for like all the items and uh, and and money and um, wasps, I think. Which I, I think someone in the comments said it's 17 trees. So it's like five wasps per day, two items, and then I guess it's like 10, 10 trees that have bells. Like 100 bells, so you get like a thousand bells just from shaking trees every day. So it might be 17 and we might go ahead and do that. Um... I don't know how the priority is. So I, I know that you always get, I think you could always get the wasps. So if you have like only five trees, I'm guessing you would get five wasps and just nothing else. And then maybe afterwards you could you would get the items and the bells are just like lowest priority. So if you don't necessarily have room for them, you might not get the bells, which is actually good. If they did it that way around, I would appreciate that, but I'm, I can't be sure, so. <clears throat> we might just put up the 17 trees and then see if that works out. Um, yeah, okay, since this is a, a double stripey thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like every two tiles just, you know, bring this in. Oh, and then here we can, yeah. <laughs> All right, I wanna go ahead and shape these uh, cliffs away. And then I think we'll do a little captain tour. I. We have like something like 7,000 miles, so that should be enough for a little captain tour. We I think we can we can we can spend that we can spend those miles. Um, once I think we start kind of doing some some treasure island runs, um, we probably will get a couple of miles just for traveling to other people's islands. Which again, I mean, you know, it's a little bit of an advantage, I guess. But if I could also just go ahead and like visit some some friends, I believe. And then that that would also give me the miles. So we're just gonna pretend it's okay. <laughs> I know I keep like I keep making excuses and I keep apologizing, but I'm actually kind of terrified that people don't like me for that. But um, it's like I always say, like play this game so it's fun to you. And if that includes I you know treasure islands and time traveling, then go ahead and do it. If it doesn't, then that's also absolutely fine. Like you don't have to do it. Just, just whatever you, whatever you want to, really. Okay, I quite like shaping them away like this. I'm gonna go to the. Oh my god, see that's a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of cliff. You, you sometimes just make your way through without looking at it too much, and you're like, oh, this is okay, this is fine. And then at some point, you kind of run to the front again, and you're like, oh, that's a heck of a lot of cliff. That's what. That's the moment I just had. Because I've just been like chatting and like just pressing A. Like I said, it's like you zone out. You don't even notice anymore what you're doing. The other day when I was flattening um, my island, I was I think I was just watching streams on the side, and I was just kind of existing. And at some point, the island was flat. And I was like, oh, well, I guess that's it for Navoria. Bye bye. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, now it's gone. Now Naporia is gone, but I do have my city island back on my Switch, which is a lot of fun and uh, happy to, to have it back. I need to get back into like working on it. It's been like a decent amount of time and I, I don't remember much of what I was planning to do. But regardless, I'm excited to have it back and I'm excited to get back into it. And I think if I one day have like a finished somewhat city type-ish island, I'll be pretty proud of that because it's not really my comfort zone, right? And my comfort zone is more... I feel like Naporia was my comfort zone, kind of. It still was a bit of a challenge because of the no cliffs thing, because it's not really something I would usually go for, I guess. Because every time I start an island, it's kind of a given that there's going to be like cliffs and waterscaping. This time there were no cliffs. Um, but I was just kind of... I love waterscaping, and especially if there are no cliffs involved, it makes the waterscaping and the tree placements a lot easier and then all the green i think it was just naporia was my comfort zone and um verdant my my city island isn't it's still green it's still a lot of green and i'm still making it super overgrown which i guess could be part kind of my my comfort zone but the the buildings and the city the city type aesthetic um was really something i had to kind of get used to and like the the pathing, I don't know if you've ever worked with city pathing before, but oh my god. 
<laughs> it's it's like it's something else truly um i feel like i've gotten like a good middle ground because i still have oh dang it because i still have like a um like a dirt path as well like a nine tile dirt path but the the amount of the amount of time it took me i'm not even kidding so i did a code shopping for that island too right i i i saved a whole bunch of like pictures and, and stuff on my pinterest and then i did a code shopping because i wanted to kind of establish some nice path and road codes that would fit together and go together and everything the amount of time I had to use while code shopping to just understand which pieces to download, which pieces would go together and form the type of path that I want. Oh my god, it's like not even funny. And then once I've just once I had decided on pathing codes, I it still took me so long to understand like where each of the pieces would go. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> like it was really, it was really not great. <sighs> And that was that was that. We got we got a little chunk flattened. Now if you look at the map, it'll probably be kind of laughable. Yep. <sighs> Pretty laughable. Shall we maybe just shape the top part away as well so that we have a bit of an accomplishment? Because I feel like right now it's like in feels like nothing is really done. But it's also we did do something it's kind of weird it's a it's an in-between so maybe we'll also just briefly shape this away and then um go on that little captain tour meet brewster and then uh maybe call it a day and then maybe next episode because we haven't been to the dlc island today um to find like new items maybe the next episode will be a little dlc episode and we'll decorate um do like a couple of of mood boardy uh, villager homes, you know, like those inspo uh, homes that we've done in case you haven't seen the episode where we did the DLCs. I've decided to kind of not fully decorate the houses that they want because that would just take a long, long time that I kind of don't want to spend because I'm mostly just playing the DLC right now to get those options on my own island to like customize villager homes and stuff like that. But um, I also don't just want to go speed run and unwrap the boxes because I feel like that is not very nice. It's not really interesting to watch, um, and therefore I could also just do that off, off, not off stream, <laughs> off screen, off video, off let's play. What's the word here? But yeah, I, I guess I could just do that in my free time. But then I did say I do want to show the entire process and share everything with you. So I guess I would kind of go against myself, and so maybe I shouldn't do that. And so I've decided to instead do a bit of a middle ground solution and we will we will choose um like a wallpaper and flooring combination and then do a little inspo section basically just putting a roughly three by three ish um area and um yeah just putting that together with their required items and like a couple of extra items a little bit of a color scheme and uh it's actually been fun we've done we've done eloise's home which was the first one that you always have to do i think unless you have her on your island uh it's always eloise and um she wants the reading room so she did we did that for her and then we picked up apple uh who wanted to have um you know a home with apples <laughs> So we did that for her as well, and um, it was quite fun. I think I, I had fun with it um, And you know, it is a little bit of decorating It's a little bit of inspo in case you might want to go for a theme that includes those items and might Trigger some inspiration. Honestly, that can sometimes happen to me as well So uh, we'll continue to do it We'll try to choose some different themes maybe because especially if I don't have to decorate an entire room It might be fun to choose some like some more funky themes too. I know there's a couple of villagers who want like a space theme or um, like a diner or some sorts, some type of that. So um, those things might happen, you know, and, and, and therefore we can just create a whole bunch of tiny little inspo boards, mood boards, if you will. Um, no, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, we might do an episode after these to do that because we've been villager hunting and we've, well, we've been doing dailies and villager hunting in the last episode and then today it's been flattening 
dailies and flattening. Wait, what, what did we do at the start? You know, we were cleaning up, right? I think we were just cleaning up today and a, a couple more dailies and then more flattening and, you know, blabbering the entire freaking time because I, I want to fill the silence. <laughs> No, it's just, I know that a lot of you have this like running in the background as you play yourself, as you do some stuff, and it would be weird if this was just quiet. So I just, I just blabber, you know, that's just, that's just what happens. And there we go. Yeah, this is a little bit better. This looks like we've do actually done some progress. Now, I will be honest, if I played this island for myself and not on, not on, um, on video, this would be flat already. Like this island would be flat as heck because I just sit down and grind. Um, but yeah, I want this to be, I want this to be a few different things and not just always flattening and stuff. And therefore, we will probably do a DLC episode after this one so that we have a little bit of decorating incorporated. There is CJ, okay, but we, oh, oops. Block myself, uh, like lock myself in there. <gasps> Wait, do I have the Orchid Mantis? Already? Oh, I do. I haven't donated the Dragonfly. Okay, question though. Is the Orchid Mantis worth some money? Orchid Mantis. It is. Oh my god, all the ads popping up. Um, 3,600 if sold to Flake. Well, thank you very much. I will try and get it then. And hopefully not mess it up. It, it grows or it grows. It spawns on white flowers, apparently. Oh, don't fight me, honey. You know you want this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, Orchid Mantis, our friendship is blooming. Great. That's what we love to hear. Right. I mean, if it spawns on white flowers, that seems, that sounds very good for us. Also, that is the dragonfly. That's a pain in the butt to catch. So I'm pretty sure that would also be a lot of money, but it's also very, very fast. <gasps> Look what I found. I did see it. Don't worry. I did see it. <laughs> right. In that case, I didn't hit it apparently, but I did see it. In that case, let's get the money spot um, and get 10,000 bells buried. And then we are gonna take this with us and I'm probably gonna forget to plant it in behind my house, but I'm, I'm still gonna, I mean, we're gonna take it with us because I don't wanna forget about it here. <sighs> okay, and then uh, we watered our carrot crops. Great. Let's, uh, let's do a little boat tour with Captain. Hmm? You're ready to take a tour? Round trip fare will cost you a thousand miles. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm already sad, but let's go. Let's go on a little tour. 6,700. Mm, we should check if we can, um, if, oh, this is gonna look so cute. Oh my god, us with this hat and this outfit on a boat tour? Heckin' cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Cute! <laughs> I just wanted to enjoy that for a second there. Okay. Also, wait, did I tell you I got a new shell for my Switch Pro controller? Look how cute! It's matcha green, and I love it. So my Pro controller is now green, which I'm very excited for. I also got the same, I got um, buttons in the same color as this uh, for my, the Switch that I'm currently playing on because it's the gray version. And I, I got buttons, um, not the stick, but like the, the A and X and stuff. Um, okay, I see roses. I don't like that. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch them like later today maybe. And then my, my gray black switch will have, um, there we go. <laughs> Look who's here. 
My gray black switch will have like matcha green buttons on it. Isn't that cool? I love it. I'm very excited for it. Okay, we're gonna, before we talk to Brewster, um, I want to just kind of uh, exploit this island as well and loot and um, hopefully find a message bottle. Yes, find a message bottle, great. Okay, fingers crossed please that it's something we can actually use. Um, I am gonna take the coconuts with me on this island because we're only gonna go to one anyway. Uh, message bottle from Petrie. A bamboo candle holder. Okay, that's not great for a Captain Island. I would have loved to have like a vine something something. Um, but I'll I'll take whatever I can get. And I got some miles for it, so I guess I do appreciate that. <laughs> I mean we always like some some um some miles, you know, especially once like now that we just we just spent a thousand. We get a thousand back. Great. For having a hundred different DIYs. Okay, I need to look up how many in total there are because there are a lot. Um, question also asking for a friend. On the Captain Islands, do you also get like an item from trees uh, or wasps or something? Because I have no idea. Also feel like every Captain Island might be different in that regards. And since we are, we do have Brewster over there. Maybe not. There is a fossil though, or like a gyroid probably. Okay, nothing here. All right, Brucey. Um, let's take a little nice picture for the thumbnail, maybe? Because I feel like since we only did flattening, you might be the main attraction today. Okay, Cloud, could you move? Bru Brewster. His German name, by the way, is Kofi, uh, which is, you know, a play on the word coffee or coffee. Was that good? Was that a good picture? I kind of doubt it. Oh. Mm. I don't know. I feel like, Brewster, you'll have to do a little bit more... <laughs> Great. You'll have to do a bit more modeling than that. Oh no, another cloud. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of cute. You standing next to that tree. All right, let's go. Cool. You out here looking for gyrids too? Um, do you know a Brewster? Uh, do I know a who? Coo. You're looking at him. Mind if I ask what you're after? Uh, Blather sent me to you. I see. I hear you. Well, actually, he has like a very quiet, very low voice, but you know, tell him that for me. Oh, and also, <gasps> gyroid fragment. Thank you. This is yours if you want it. It's a gyroid fragment. Plant it in the ground. Give it some water and some time. It'll grow up strong the next day. Gyroids take root fast when you return them to the ground. <sighs> thank you. Well, then, be seeing you. Thank you, thank you. If you could move a little bit so that I can get the fossil. Thank you. Oh, gyroid. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. It's a gyroid. Um, I don't think I'll get I'll take any of the shrubs. I will hopefully um meet I want to check the trees. I will hopefully meet Leaf again and then we're gonna get saplings or like uh sh shrub starts instead, and that way we will be um there'll be, they won't take as much, as much space, you know? So that's, that's kind of my hope for right now. So I won't take those with me and I won't take the roses because I feel like you all know how I feel about roses. Okay. And then let's go back and just plant. Oh, dang it. There was an orchid mantis. All right, let's go back. Um, we talked to Brewster, so we are going to have him on our island very soon. We can have coffee with him if we want to. And, um, we need to plant our money tree behind our house. Okay, I, sorry, Captain, but we are gonna skip this one. I can't eat cucumbers? <laughs> what? Why? They're mostly water. Also, you're a turtle. I'm pretty sure that turtles do eat cucumber, actually. Thank you, Captain. Alrighty, let's run to Annabelle. That is, oh my god, the way she's sitting there with those epic clouds and all the trees chopped around her with the smoothie in her hand is kind of relatable. Also, Molly doing some yoga, Hornsby running around, being adorable. My villager is pretty cool. Some of them at least. Okay, we have two more gyrid fragments, which also we should go ahead and, and bury here. And then the money tree. All right, money tree goes here. And then... 
a gyroid fragment and gyroid fragment. <laughs> All right, so watering can. There we go. A bit of more water for the middle one and some some water for the ones on the left and the right. Perfect. A little puffs of air. And then I would say we're going to take almost the same position as we did at the very start of the video. And I will say thank you so much for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And then I'll see you again then for, I think, a little bit of DLC decorating. Um, but yeah, I hope you have an awesome time until that happens. Bye, everyone.